media is most often regarded as a profession for men. Many see it as a strange world for women, especially when it has to do with managing the sounds, controlling the cameras, mounting them, the lighting, in brief, the technical aspect of the profession. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to the very first edition of your talk show, Step Up, a program aimed at empowering women through the media. I am your host, MBA. I am not alone. For a proper understanding and digestion of our discussion, I have with me here Ewi Van Vikram, a filmmaker based at BMRC. You are welcome, Ewi. Thank you. And you look good. Thank you. Yeah. And I also have, will be welcoming our lady, Dam Lami, a software engineer with next gen technology. Dam, you're welcome. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. And so we're going to delve in straight, we will not waste time. And so we will begin with ladies, ladies before gentlemen. So Dam, I want to know, are women really welcome in the media profession? Do you think the profession is open for the women in my opinion, I think women are welcome in the media profession, especially in the technical aspect. But nowadays, due to the environment, men shy away from the profession for us. It's just because they have the mentality that it's always for me, and most often we hear things like camera man, sound man, stuff things. So when we hear that, we just trust the brain. So I think they are actually very well. So we want to hear from the male himself. Our women pretty welcome into the media. Women are hundred percent welcome, but then, you know, you maybe force a donkey to the stream, but you cannot force the donkey to drink. So there are a lot of them that will want to do it, but they are not serious with it. They may just want to do it because of uh, prestigious reasons. I, for one, I train a couple of them, and the way I've always taken them in, uh, I can say I work on them, and they are hundred percent satisfied. In the course of working with them, they are they efficient? Do they do the work very well? Can they do? Can you recommend them? Well, for just for the few I've worked with, it's very difficult for me to say I can recommend them hundred percent because most of them are not serious. When I say they are not serious, like you, you see the situations where you, a lady, you know, you are coming in to work. You go start doing makeup for work, you do nails for work. Now you are supposed to work like a, a set design on a set. How will you use the same nails to place things on set? So you, he appeared to me like you are not serious and I cannot recommend you somewhere. Okay, okay, you we'll just flow from what he has said. Mm -hmm. So, what account for women behaving in this way he mentioned? Women being slow, they are not efficient, they they are not into the profession because they really want to know. Maybe they are behind, maybe because of the, the, the rewards that come at the end of the day, the money and so on. So you are a woman, a software engineer. So what accounts for women behaving the way they behave? Because we've just heard from you, they are slow and all that stuff. So what do you have to say? In my opinion, I think we don't need to generalize things because we have women who are nurses. They don't go to the theater the news. They know that they don't have they don't need to have news in order to go to the theater. We have women who work in the military. They know. So um, if you have to go into a profession, you need to know what is needed for that profession. If you're actually serious. So I don't think they should say that women are not serious because they don't make up, they do this, they do that. When you have you know what is in the profession. I go into the profession. And women, when they want to do something, they're actually serious about it and they do it to the best. Even at home, the men do things to the best. And we have left the generation in such a way that women will say, I don't do it, how can I do it? I don't do it, how can I do it? You know, we've left that generation a long time ago. So women nowadays work for themselves and women nowadays try as much to be independent. And also try to do many things that men that men thought was only for themselves. Like in the field that I am in, I'm 
it's difficult for us to see a, a lady in the field. But I still encourage ladies to come in the field. Yeah, exactly. And when a lady comes to the field, she has more opportunities. Why? Because worldwide, when there is a when there is a situation where many many is a few from the men, and you see a lady, they actually she's outstanding and they give her more preference. So I actually encourage many women to come and join the media, especially the technical part. It's very very interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Also, the camera has directing. It's very interesting. The lightning, mounting cameras, a thing for the men, but now also a thing for the women with focus, with vision, with intentionality and, and, and of course passion. You ladies can do it. Let's get a short break as we take some pause. There is a need in this 21st century for women to break the philosophy of men handling technical equipment when it comes to media production. The main difficulty I faced at the print was just that when it comes to going to the tutorial, I needed a camera operator to come and do the work and do the recording. So much so that it became so annoying when he's not there or when they are not there to manage the camera for me, I have to wait in the office till they go and come. After receiving a training of this magnitude, I am proud to say that at least I can hold a camera, power it on, take a perfect shot that at least I can use to mount a paper. My best camera for now is uh, the Lumix GH3, which I can take a video and record by myself. Aside that, I can boast now that I can mount lights. I can use a recorder. I feel like there's a burden off my shoulders. I'm happy. Though not yet con completely satisfied because I feel like there's more to be done. There's more work to be done to call it perfect. But at least I'm very happy that I can do it myself. I never knew the different marks of cameras. But for example, now I can show that this is a, a Canon 60D. I can say this is a Lumix a GH3 and ETC. The list is long. I can say this is a zoom recorder. I can point it out and I can manipulate it. But before I came here, I could not do such. So the training has uh, greatly helped me in identifying and knowing these different media equipment. Welcome back from the break. And as we were saying, women, they cannot mount, they are slow. They are not up to the tax. And so I'm going to be asking a question to Lamy. What do you really think can be done? If not by, by the women themselves first, and then by others to break this power structure of cameraman, sound man. We, we want to be getting camera operators, sound technicians. We want women to come to at the light, lamp light. If not, 50 50 with the men at least they should rise up to a certain level so what can be done what are some suggestions you can give out okay um what i'll say is uh, a woman that she needs to first of all have the zeal she needs to be willing to do it and when she's willing to do it she should actually be serious in doing it like she should take some trainings she should know how she's supposed to dress in order to do it in the past. Mm -hmm. In order to do it in the past, in order for her, because sometimes you go to cover events, you see you have to even lie on the floor in order to take better shots. So, I think if you wear a gorgeous gown going for an event and wear and you need to do that kind of thing, you also feel embarrassed. So I think she should also dress according to the according to what she's supposed to do, and she should also take training because nowadays. She can, even if she doesn't have the equipment, she can listen, like watch videos that can help her. And if we have uh, shows like this more often, she should at least look and watch them and be motivated because we also need motivation from us, other women, and from the environment during that 
many people know that it's a main thing, it's a main thing. So they also need to know that no, they actually welcome in the field. And when they come into the field, uh, the men in the field, they should give them like, they should give them the opportunity to yeah. learn. They should not be like, oh, she's a woman, what does she do? Because in most cases, I witnessed a situation where there was an event they were supposed to cover, and only ladies were present because the men went to cover another event, and they had ladies had to wait for the men to come before they go to cover the event, which is one. The ladies could go and going to do and need to do the coverage. So I think that what they need to do is they need to uh, first of all be motivated yeah. because there's nothing you can do if you're not motivated from inside. Okay, and I think you you mentioned something striking. Men giving women what they consider difficult, what they consider hard. And I think, personally, I think that is until you are tested. That is when we will know that, oh, so she was able to do this, she was able to do this. I think that was a good one. So those in the field equally should not downgrade, but they should, they should dare the women, dare them with hard tasks, tell them to do this and... When you tell them to do this, obviously you find out at the end of the day, they have done it and even done it perfectly that, that you least expected. Thank you. And um, what suggestions, of course, do you have to give out to those people? So it has to, first of all, do self-confidence in whatever you are doing. And you as a woman, we should not wait for power to be given to you before you do something. So you as a woman, learn and strive for it. No, it's not every man that is a man out there. We have men that are more like women. Mm -hmm. That you give them a tax, you discover that there is a woman that if she was given that same opportunity, she will have easily adapted more than that man. Uh, but then, how do you identify such women if in their doing? On how they uh, participate? Why are you taking this shot this way? Why not take it this way? That is somebody that wants to learn. So you should give an opportunity thereby explain to the person why the shot is taken this way when you see that most of the way explain that way and do, most of them that are asking are people that actually wants to learn if you go to an audition you have uh, you have double power if they don't pick you up as an actress they are picking you up as a technician being a technician and an actress at the same time is very powerful it's a plus thank you very much ladies you've got to be daring you've got to engage get into the technical side as much as you are in the other domains of the media you really have to step up make sure you know yourself make sure you have a purpose make sure you have a vision i really want to appreciate you and thank you for coming van vikram thank you for coming lani and ladies and gentlemen that is where we pull the curtains on today's edition see you next time same time same station I love you.